A mulberry is a tree. A kuwabara is a man. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I have another unboxing and reviewing video for you. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Dawson Toys Kazuma Kuwabara figure from Yu Yu Hakusho. And I can't wait to review this one. It's going to be cool. So yeah, let's uh, unbox him. All right, so here's the figure itself. So we got Kuwabara here. We got the spirit sword here, which looks really nice. We've got four different face plates, his school bag, and looks like four different uh, hands we can switch out. What's interesting is actually the Yusuke figure actually had way more hands, but I'm not complaining. This is still really cool, and this actually just came out recently, so. Yeah, this is really cool. Let's get a closer look at him. Alright, so here is the Kuwabara figure. So I love the color that they have for his school uniform. The blue color is accurate to the anime. I like that you can open up his jacket. You can see the white shirt. And also, um, like with the Yusuke one, it has like these light little magnets that make the jacket go back together. Uh, I like the little gold you know, buttons on the jacket, on the arms here. Um, his face is perfect. They got his face perfectly from the anime. Even the alternate face expressions look exactly like him. Um, his hair color, I feel like they could have put a little bit more orange into it because it's almost like a darkish reddish orange, but like, it's not really that big of a deal. But I feel like they could have put a little bit more orange in there. But other than that, it's perfect. They got the pompadour right. The shoes here, they're nice. Um, but yeah, articulation, let's see. So he's got an elbow bend here, you can't bend it too much, but I like how the uh, clothing um, conforms like real life clothing when you bend uh, the joints. You know, you got 360 with the hands. Head can go down, up, left, right. I don't wanna put it all 360 because I don't wanna break it. Um, you got the knees. They bend up that far, you got foot can rotate, I think it can go down, yep, up and down pretty good. Um, you got, you can kind of do the splits, but I wouldn't go too far because you're, you're bound to like rip this basically. Um, torso articulation, actually has pretty good torso articulation, go up and down all the way back like that, which is pretty crazy. Um, you know, again, same with articulation here. This is what it looks like from the back here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much like the same articulation on the Yusuke toy. Um, awesome all around, seriously though. And then what we got for, we got all these hands here. Let's see. Yep, all these different hands. Yep, there we go. Yelling face, smiling face right here. Let's see if I can pick those up a little better. Yep. And then the other face plates we have is kind of just like a stern face expression, no emotion. Then we got like an actual like happy smiling face. Fits Kuwabara. He's actually like one of my favorite characters from Yu Yu Hakusho. And then the final accessory we really have is the spirit sword. There we go. Nicely detailed, and nicely sculpted actually. It's really cool. I like the uh, goldish yellow um, clear see-through plastic. That's really nice. Um, but yeah, the only other thing that's in the box for this toy is pretty much the same thing as the Yusuke toy. How it had uh, that weird brick stand, and it had like that weird um, articulated like arms, those clear parts. Kind of like a Figma sort of deal. Yeah, also forgot to mention that, you know, like the use case figure, you can swap out the um, face plates. So if this zooms in a little bit. There we go. So if I take this off, the pompadour, take this face plate off, just want to be very careful here. Oop. Oh, so I took off the hair <laughs> by accident. I don't actually, can you take the face plate off? 
Oh, so instead of just taking the faceplate off, you have to actually take the actual headpiece off this time. Oh wow, that's different. The use K1, all you do is take the faceplate off. Yeah. One thing I want to tell you guys here is see this. This is the um, ball joint for the head. You notice how there's still kind of a flash of plastic here? You might want to shave some of that off a little bit, but not too much because it might have a little bit of issues kind of plugging in. Like, see, I'm already having issues plugging this in. So, you see, I can try and get it in there, but I feel like it's not gonna come off unless I shave some of that plastic off. I'm gonna see if I can do that. All right, I'm back. So I actually had to shave off a lot of plastic flash on that ball joint, because there's so much chunky like plastic on that. But I managed to actually get the uh, faceplate on. So then we gotta put Kuwabara's hair back on here. Put it back like so. There we go. Seamless. And then put his pompadour back on. And there we go. Got that angry yelling expression that he's known for. And then if we pop out this hand here, it's very easy, just hold the wrist. Pops right out, got a ball joint there. Let's put in the grabby hand. There we go. And let's see. Let's see, I'm trying to see if this is the grabby hand or if this is something else. Also, this spirit sword attachment is actually uh, kind of rubbery. Let's have him holding the sword. If I can get him to hold it, hopefully. <laughs> So I think the shoulders actually have a butterfly joint. That will make it easier for me to have Kuwabara holding it. Wow, that's awesome, man. I love that. Yeah, that's that's so awesome, man. I gotta, I gotta give them massive props for this. Overall, I have to give this figure a 10 out of 10. Seriously, I'm gonna put him on my shelf next to uh, Yusuke. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one.